Hi, I'm Bruce from Gloucester, Virginia. You're watching Trucker Josh on YouTube. Make sure you like his videos, subscribe. Let's get him over 100,000 subscribers. Thanks. new day man we're in Chester Chester Iowa we're just over the border from Minnesota Minnesota's like right over there right over there and we are up at the ungodly hour of what is it 6 a.m. Uh -oh. oh there it goes <sighs> yeah life of a trucker let's get some freight delivered we got to deliver this lumber that we have behind us and we gotta run back up to Minnesota, pick up another new load, tarp it, and then start making our way towards Alberta, Canada. It's gonna be fun. First, we gotta take care of the weasel. You go outside. All right, let's find our way outside here. Oh, that fresh air. You know, I always say that I hate mornings, but it's not really true. I love mornings. Fresh air first thing in the morning is the best thing. All right, the sky is starting to lighten up a little bit there. It's a good sign. Let's get going. Trailer's coming with me. Right on, right on. I need that. only 20 minutes down the road here where we're going to be unloading and they don't usually unload today. Today is Friday when I'm filming this uh, and they usually don't unload Fridays for some reason but uh, I called them and asked them really nicely and well here we are living the dream. Proceed to the highlighted route. Oh I intend to Karen. I intend to but first we have to make sure that no other people are on the highlighted route first. Okay I think we're good. me to be there. They told me to be there around 7.15 and they'll get to me around 7.30. We're going to get there by the looks of it around like 7.13, 7.12. The sun is starting to come up so that makes me happy. We made it. They acknowledged my entry into their little world here, their little yard, their little, their little lumber world. And they just told me to wait back here for a second. There's a truck, not this yellow one here, but there's one further down where that second tractor's coming from. Uh, those are the last two bundles on that other tractor. And uh, that other truck's gonna move out of the way. I'm gonna go park where that guy is, way down there, and they're gonna start unloading me. So this morning was a success. So far, we still have to go get reloaded, but that's gonna take a while. That always takes a while. Uh, the reload there uh, takes an average of six to eight hours. It's a live load. It, it, it's you'll see. 
you'll see. All right, so the tractor's getting out of the way. This semi truck's gonna come through here. Oh, another guy's rushing into his spot back there. That was my spot. Oh, dude, dude. So this this guy in this black truck is gonna move out of the way here, and I was supposed to go park where he was parked, and it looks like someone else snuck in there. Ha <laughs> ha. You skipped the line, buddy. He came in the exit. He came in the wrong exit. Oh boy. That's not very nice. Yeah, it looks like the loader is gonna go over there and uh, give him a talking to. Bugs me when drivers do that. Like there's clearly a lineup, like there's me here and then there's this yellow truck, we're already in the yard. And that red truck wasn't in the yard. He just happened to pull into the yard right when this guy was moving out of my way. And so he snuck into that spot, just cut in front of us. Uh, me and this guy in the yellow truck right here. Oh, that bothers me when truckers do that. Like, don't they see? Like, oh, there's other people waiting to be unloaded. How about I just go and slip right in front of all of them? Oh, yeah, they're telling him to move. <laughs> Buddy, come on. You think you'd get away with that? All right, I'm next. Not you, buddy. This guy here in the red truck tried to sneak in front of everybody. Sneaky, sneaky. Not sneaky enough. Wouldn't even look at me. <laughs> so maybe this guy wants to talk to me here. Okay. <laughs> oh boy. Looked like a young guy. Probably had no idea that there was a lineup. Eh, happens to everybody, right? I'm just glad they actually stood up for me and said, hey, that guy's first. Yes, thank you very much. I am first. I was here. Just like that. We're done. Wonderful. Got to back out of this little space here. Get out of their way so that they can get their next driver in here. Maybe go find myself a shower. That would be fantastic. Off we go. really quick or in and out of here in less than 20 minutes this guy's gonna make room for me here very nice of him I don't know why he unstrapped on the road the lineups on the other side in the yard but here he is give him a thank you wave and we'll be on our way always say thank you Right here. 
What a magical, magical bypass it is. Or byway, it's not a bypass, it's a byway. Whatever that means. Byway, isn't every road a byway? I don't know. Shooting star, wildflower, scenic byway. Very scenic indeed. Continue on this road for 50 kilometers. All right, we've arrived. I'm gonna back into this warehouse here and they're gonna load me up. I'm gonna tarp it. And we're gonna carry on down the road. Going straight to Calgary from here. We'll have plenty of time to get there. It's a two day drive, we'll have three days to get there. So uh, I won't have to run so hard. Okay, they said 124. Or 125. Okay, so I'm gonna back in right beside that guy, I guess. He is right in my way. Shoot. So as soon as that guy pulls out of there, I'm going in behind him. I can't get into the door. There is another door on the other side of him over there. I could get in there, but really tight. And he said he's almost done. I mean, he's gonna move, so. I'll just wait. Whatever. This is really quick that I got in here. Usually I have to wait, like, six to eight hours, like I said, till I can leave here. But usually it's just like a few hour wait just to get into the warehouse. Now I got here, I let them know I was here, and boom, they got me in the warehouse right away. VIP, tell you what, I don't know why it's so quick this time, but I'll take it. I guess they're just ready for me and the timing was just perfect. It usually does take them about two, maybe three hours to load the trailer. It's glass and it's got to be put on there just perfectly. They nail it right down onto the deck. The straps are actually just for show and for DOT requirements. The load would actually stay there without a strap on it, but you don't want to test that like that one guy did with the lumber. You still got to strap it down and then tarp it. So this guy's moving out of the way now. Let's, let's back her in. Well, this is super easy. Nice. You see how they nail it right down to the deck? Nail it all on here at the A-frame. These things aren't going anywhere, but we're still gonna tie them down anyway, just to be sure. They load them with these big cranes up here. Right? They're loading the trailer on the other side of me right now. That's gonna be super easy. Super easy to tarp that. All right, let's get her done. It's the guy beside me. He's just about ready to tarp his load. This is mine. All wrapped up like a birthday present. Ready to go to Calgary. I just got to tie down my extra tarp at the back here yet. Just got to tighten that down. Don't want to lose that on the highway. It's like a hundred pound tarp. Maybe not that heavy, but it's heavy. Off we go. I think we got another six hours and some minutes, six and a quarter hours available to us to drive today yet. Then I'm out of my 14 hours. So we'll make it quite a ways. And we're in no rush. Like I was saying, we got all the way till Tuesday. It's Friday and we got till Tuesday to go 2,000 kilometers or like 1,300 miles. So we're going to be taking her slow and easy. Sipping the fuel, just sipping the fuel. That's the plan. Going to bed early, or stopping early, not going to bed early. You know, reading my book, sleeping in a little bit. It's gonna be a nice, relaxed trip. This guy beside me had to unhook his truck. Park it out there. So we have to be able to keep these doors closed. This is a heated warehouse. Look at mine. Look how close this is. I just barely, barely made it in. You can't get much closer than that. I gotta wash this truck. It's filthy. We'll have lots of time on the way up. Look at this. Just filthy. Even on the back here. Just dirty, dirty, dirty. I think I'm gonna stop at Blue Beacon and Fargo on the way back. Behind 
us another mission to complete. I really like on this road for 73 I really like when I'm not interrupted, Karen. I really like these loads when I have a little bit of breathing space to get there and I'm not so rushed. Makes it so much more relaxing. Zero stress. Oh, we got time. Let's just let's just get there when we get there. Almost. Still got to be there by 11 a.m. Tuesday. But. Either that, or I could just book it there and get a reset. And I'm sitting around for a whole day, but. take her easy and save the fuel all the way there. As long as there's a four-lane highway, people are free to go around me. You want to burn more fuel than me? Have at it. It's free country. This is going to be wonderful. As soon as we get on the two-lane, I go the full speed limit, though. I, I keep up with traffic because... Two lanes, I know how annoying it can be to be stuck behind someone going slow. Well, that's a big heavy load that guy's got there. Woo! Can barely get the tarp around that thing. Wow! So we've got about a half hour up the road. You know what that means. Stop and check on the load. Make sure the tarps are still tarping. Make sure the straps are still strapping. Make sure the load is still where it's supposed to be, Continue doing what it's supposed to do. Kilometers. Sitting very still on the bed. We're at Pilot Flying J here. Uh, exit 69. I'm actually gonna see how much parking they have here. If they don't have, if they have some parking for me, I think I might go in and grab a shower right away. It's, See this this parking lot's always a gong show. So I don't know if there's gonna be room for me here to park, but we'll go take a look. We'll go do a loop and see what happens. I'm not gonna grab fuel here. You have arrived at your destination on the right side. Find what? J Travel Plaza number 576. I think it's on the left side there, Karen. Any parking spots? Proceed to the highlighted route. Oh yeah, there's some parking at the back there. Hopefully there's no wait for a shower. Any parking spots here? Oh. oh boy. What are we all doing here? What are we all doing? This light pole right in the middle of the parking lot is dumb. I'm just going to say it. It's dumb. It's silly. It's a silly place for a light post. Why would you put it right in the middle of a tight parking lot? I'm going to back in right here beside Mr. CFI, I think. All right, Diesel. Here we are. Hopefully no one backs into me. There's empty spots right beside me, so someone's probably going to back in here. That light pole. Why? Why, why, why? See where that white truck is over there? Those two spots, him and the one beside it, it's impossible to get in there. I've tried. Usually those two spots are open unless if it's like taken up by a bobtail. That guy's bobtailing. That's a good spot for a bobtail because a big full-size unit can't get in those spots. That's perfect. But yeah, hopefully no one backs into us. Let's take a look at the app here and see if uh, there's a shower available. If there is, Wash myself off, scrub myself down a little bit. You guys are gonna wait in here though. I'm not weird. <clears throat> Let's continue on. How much time do we have left yet? You have three hours and 41 minutes of remaining drive time. Let's do it. I don't wanna stay here, this place scares me. <laughs> Such a bad parking lot. This guy came and parked in right beside me here. So close to me. Didn't hit me. So close. I don't like parking in these parking spots or these parking lots. I feel like I'm just asking to get my hood ripped off. Oh, let's continue on. Maybe we can get past him. 
any apples yet. Maybe around Clearwater. Maybe up there if the, the lot isn't completely full up there by the time we get there. Okay, but you just pulled out in front of me. Now you're going to stop in the driveway? Oh, no, wait. Now you're going to continue driving? What are you doing? I'm going. You want to stop there? That's fine. I'm going to go around you. You're going to cause problems there, though, buddy. I have a feeling we're gonna get great fuel economy in this trip. This load is just perfect streamlined. Wind just slips around my truck and doesn't even feel the load behind me. Here we are, Clearwater, Minnesota. It's only 6.30. There better be parking. <laughs> Tell you what, there better be parking for me. See, I want to go off to the left here and check the parking lot to the left. It's just, hopefully nobody's going to be coming out because the driveway is very narrow. Perfect. I'm going to go to my parking spot. Nobody take my parking spot. It's on the street. That's right, Trucker Josh sleeps on the street. Aha, nobody's here either. Good. This is the safest spot where uh, nobody will hit me. If you haven't noticed yet, I'm paranoid of people hitting me when I'm parked. I have trust issues. Come on. Let's go. Let's see, when I park on the street here like this, nobody's going to hit me. Nobody will back into me. And that's what I like. <laughs>